Welcome back, guys, to Octopath Traveler 2. Well, last episode, we encountered the leader of the invasion. The Lajackal or Chet didn't pick on that fateful day that had been tortured and twisted that soon lashed out at our hunter, sending her flying into the watery depths. However, a blue flame bid her to rise up from the sea and fight once again, imparting power to Mahina and Acta as we fought the Lajackal of the Sorrowful Moon to end the calamity, with Chet attempting to befriend and comfort the dying beast as the island found new balance and peace amongst his peoples. With a new hunt starting, we head out once again. Awakening, companion and actor. When awakened, your companion and actor will be able to use powerful skills. When am I awake it woken then? Provoke a maximum boost in awakened companion or actor will unleash their skills. So you have to be maximum boost to fully awaken. When awaken your companion can use powerful attack skill and actor can provide support for the entire party. When provoking less than maximum boost, they will appear as usual. We also got the X skill provoke beast. Which is <laughs> Select three monsters and provoke them in order. I'm assuming that goes up with boost. Two. Because that would be the way. Oh, Kahase's in the... Uh... Kahase's here now. Scarlet Stone of Protection. And a... Oh, battle-tested bow. Too bad you're not going to give it to me, obviously. For the bounce tested bow, usually we do have to buy them, so let's get it. Slim chance to reduce target's physical defense is pretty good. Physical attack of 390. So that's a good get as well. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's better than this at the moment. Because we don't have the, uh, the other one in there, so that's not bad. Uh, where do we go from here? Well, first of all, we got to check out our stuff, which I'll remember this time, eh? Another stained glass window filled out. Our travel banter. Oh shit, a development. Ah, now for beast chowing down after a good hunt. What is it, Casty? Something on my face? No, I was just admiring your hunterly demeanor. Ah, you were. I'm sure you're going to become an even better hunter in future. Well, if you say so, maybe I will. After all, you pay more attention to me than anyone else. Do I fuss too much? No way, you know I love you, Casty. <laughs> oh shit. The power of jerky. It's almost time, much yet. There's nothing quite like that tingling feeling before a battle. I hear you. It's like, hey, that tingles. And then when your tail gets to shivers, woo. I wouldn't know about that. Anyway, you know what makes these moments even better? That's right, jerky. Yeah, you have to have some too. I do feel my strength swelling. Let's go, Chet. Don't worry, I've got your back. You got it. A special technique. <laughs> Decisive battle approaches. Sure it does. You're set, Pops. Of course, my magic is ready any time. Hey, I just had an idea. What is it? If you used your magic on my arrows, we could really make some mischief. Flaming arrows, freezing arrows. Imagine how great that'd look. Oh, you've given this some thought. And we'll call them projectiles by Pops. Forget it. A bit of... That would make him Steiner to her Vivi. <laughs> No, well, that would make her a Steiner. Sorry, wrong way around. <laughs> you don't want to be the Steiner of the group now. <laughs> the island's beastlings seem to struggle with language somewhat. That's true, but they have good hearts. Oh, yes, I can tell. Incidentally, Ochet, where did you learn to talk? From Master Juva. He's not just my hunting teacher. He taught me to speak, too. He said I'd need to know both to protect the island. Sounds like a wise teacher. A common language is what allows us to share our thoughts. One day I will find the time to teach the beastlings here to speak as well. Wow, really? Thank you. Don't need to thank me, it's for my own benefit. I'd like to be able to chat with them too, you see. <laughs> gotcha. And that is it. <laughs> right, one more story remains. The two keys of Frone's poison necklace. Of course, we will not have time for that this session this week, but we will be taking Aeon quite soon. We could go to somewhere like Cavern of Waves. But we also have, like, uh, we have inventor stuff to give in. So let's go to New Delster. Get over there. Uh, we could go to that uh, shipwrecked place and 
chalk off another place in the water. These are options for us. So what did you think? May I have this we didn't really get to fight long because we've got enough damage and we know how to put out enough damage to I'm beat the bosses at this up. level. Let's put it that way. What did you think about... <laughs> Marcus, Arcanist Partitio over here. Maybe next time. Rest to heal our HP and SP. Sidestep to dodge every move. Wagner in the party? I'm assuming we can move over... Um... What is it? We can move over... Reflective Barrier 2? Maybe? So we might be able to just reflect everything. <laughs> what interesting time that will be. Shirtless Partitio is the play, even though we're getting more inventor stuff all the time. So we have now the Tin Horn. Oh, could that be? Why, yes, it is the very materials I need for my next invention. You are truly a wonderful assistant. Now then, prepare yourself. You are about to witness the birth of an invention that shall change the world. I've done it. My fifth invention, the tin horn, is finally complete. After years of research, I've managed to identify special sound waves that work on both the mind and body. All you need to do is play this horn to emit those waves and fill your listeners with an incredible power. That's another invention flawlessly finished. I dare say my genius is almost frightening. And now that you've seen the master at work, you know how to craft it yourself. May it aid you on your journey. The tin horn is obtained. Thanks to all the materials you brought me, my inventing is continuing apace. I cannot blame you for being utterly charmed by my genius. I am as well. Ha ha ha. A horn made of tin. You can actually see stuff. It's capable of generating unique sound waves that were discovered after years of research. Those who hear those sound waves are filled with an odd energy and are rejuvenated both physically and mentally. However, the effects are not long lasting. I haven't even used the Arkars coil yet. A jar that generates lightning. It has successfully reproduced the bolt seen in the sky and can store a certain amount of this electrifying energy within. Organisms that come into contact with the lightning are said to become extraordinarily invigorated. Well, we should have this stuff too. Cost a soldier's bow, a great blade, and guardian's axe, but... Oh, could that be? Why, yes, it is. The very materials I need for my next invention. You are truly a wonderful assistant. Now then, prepare yourself. You are about to witness the birth of an invention that shall change the world. I've done it. My sixth invention, the hastening hammer, is finally complete. I use the materials you brought me to craft a hammer stronger and lighter than ever before possible. So despite its somewhat intimidating size, it can be wielded by just about anyone. That's another invention flawlessly finished. I dare say my genius is almost frightening. And now that you've seen the master at work, you know how to craft it yourself. May it aid you on your journey. I think we got the last support skill with that too, right? Well, well, well. It seems I've completed all the inventions I planned for the moment. Now even the most common of commoners will be forced to recognize my genius. Ha ha ha, this is wonderful. What an exhilarating feeling. To be perfectly honest, no matter how much of a genius I may be, none of this would have been possible without your help. So to show you my gratitude, I prepared you a gift. <laughs> Here it is, my eighth invention, the all-purpose tool. It is the combination of my genius, a tool of the highest caliber. I want you to have it in recognition of your ascension from adorable assistant to accomplished apprentice. Now that I've given it to you, I expect you to try harder than ever to spread word of my inventions. Go on, my apprentice. Use this genius's inventions to your heart's content. I'm assuming that uh, repairs everything. Mechanical top hat. We actually ended the tale of a genius inventor. It is... Not bad. I hope you haven't forgotten your mission, my dear apprentice. The world needs... Deserves to know about my inventions. So go out there and make me proud. Build until you can build no more. <laughs> a handy and high quality tool for making inventions. It is the culmination of genius inventor Arkar's skill and best used when assembling one of Arkar's other incredible inventions. The tool was made with his heartfelt gratitude toward his beloved apprentice. And then this big hammer. 
A large hammer composed of various materials. The combination of these particular materials creates a heretofore unimaginable strength and lightness. The general purpose materials can be used again even after disassembly. We'd have to switch someone to see the abilities at this point. So I guess it would be you over anyone. Okay, we obviously got new support skills. Well, everyone got it, to be honest. Raise the physical defense and elemental defense of the equipping character by one for every job skill learned. 61. BP in adversity is grants the equipping character 2 BP when near death. That's what we got there. And the all-purpose tool... Begin crafting all inventions. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> does that repair them all? Or use them all? <laughs> Sounds crazy. Hastening hammer. Reduces crafting time. Highly powerful physical attack on a single target foe. The latent tower gauge of all allies is the tin horn. So you kind of want to get through everything and then you want to... Use other bits, right? Now, let's go out there and figure it out. Oh, I do like my defensive downs on some enemies, too. Now that we've done that, uh, shall I go to see them? We could check out the shipwreck of the Empress. Why not? By the way, I'm very obvious that I need to travel the world at this point because there must be more quests that have unlocked from us uh, finishing quests, is how I look at it. Right? Finishing tales equals even more story to come. Should I save first? Oh, I'm guessing there'll be a save at the island. Really not that far away after all. I vote you vote I keep going and do Furnace chapter. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. It will never end if that was the case. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a show now. We've got I'm guessing it's pirate hat, but it looks more like cowboy hats to Here me. Goes. The same. I Someone's going first. Right. A horrific claw. Okay. This will only a maximum boost, so I can't use it at the moment anyway. Ooh, I should probably use this. Oh, it doesn't fit it to max. When you say fill. Catching one. Not sure I need the undead. Buccaneer bones. Double soporific claw. Alright, I'll switch it for you if it's a double one versus aberrant poison thrust. <laughs> Just uh, one of our pets is the undead now. I might not come here too early for anything. Oh, which way do I want to go? To be honest, the save point do what I must. The save point is at the start of this location, which usually hints at the fact that there's not a boss within it. Here goes. <laughs> I know. Right. That might very well be the truth of it. I mean, I can continue to power up their stuff. This ought to do the trick. Yeah, that's the full thing. My turn. So maybe a full charge is everything. Done and done. Allow me. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Don't know, though. A Thunder Soulstone Large. This looks like the correct way. 
Oh, wait, never mind. There's, uh... There's two roots. <laughs> of course there is. <laughs> a lost tribe spear. So we've got another one of that now. Is that the cow tribe, then? When you think about it. They were a tribe, and they're very lost now that Caldana's dead. Yeehaw! Wait, hearing those things stings. Hey. It's my turn now. It's my strongest weapon. They're not dead! My prey awaits. Warlord Spear! Right. <sighs> I'm hungry. And then you look at it and all I actually need is a chat to do damage. <laughs> Weirdly, I feel like a chat's so powerful that maybe I going with only one of the special classes on this team is fine. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is the final room. I, shall be your I know there was a treasure chest below. Don't worry about that. Bring it on. Is this going to be the world's shortest dungeon again? Many thanks. It's my turn now. And the only reason I put it in uh, oh my. terms like that. Of having three in one. Right. I mean, technically, there's four at the moment on this side. But, you know, a check would be on the night team, really. Warlord Spear! It's because, to be honest, I don't. Actually. We've got some boats. Grab some food. Want to be switching classes all the time for every fight, you know what I mean? I'd rather decide on. A single thing. There's the Master Thief Sapphire stuff. <laughs> I'm assuming I had the Cleric item. Hey, dude. What's up? There's no extra ghosty things in it. Oh, nice. Rusty Dagger Obtained. It's a short dungeon because there's a rusty dungeon. Now I'm wondering if the other dungeon has the other rusty weapon. The, show begins. the level 48 one? Bring it on. I owe you one, Patricia. That's one more bit of power to add to our group. Warlord Spear! Or to add to a chat anyway. I'm hungry. Level 60 and 59 for Hikari and Patricio. It looks like we're done with the place. A cursed shield. It's not a bad shield when you think about it. Uh, is that our second cursed shield? No, it's only our first. Evasion minus 66. Well, you don't, if you don't need evasion, you don't need evasion, but... That seems to be the shipwreck of the Emperor's done. Quick, simple, effective. Ah, for another rusty thing for me to look at. Give it here, let me see. There's no room for doubt. This too is one of the divine weapons of the arms masters. Give me some time, I'll reforge it for you. Blacksmith's honor. Take a gander of this. I de-rusted and reforged this divine weapon. The dancer's blade. Mischievous step has been learned. If you find anything that you think might be a divine weapon, bring it to me. Now we're just at uh, one remaining. 300 physical attacks. Slim chance to afflict target with poison, blindness, confusion, or sleep. Sure. It gave us a skill as well. Did it give us a support skill too? Oh, it did. Arms refinement. Fills the equipping character's lane power gauge when exploiting an enemy's weak point. 
We've got all of the skills now, though. And now I'm kind of like, should we go to... Uh... Well, let's just first get a clock bank and actually turn in the thing we just got. Should we go to the other dungeon quickly and see if that's got anything in it? Because that'd be great, because we'll finish off, like, Inventor and, and Arms Master in no time at all. In fact, we'll have maxed out all our classes. That's actually true. All right, well, that's the, uh, the second thing. I'm assuming I've, I've got items for the cleric license at this point in time, probably. That was what the item was. Alright, this is just to the side of this. I mean, we basically get to find out instantly. If the save point... Is at the start... Then it's probably got a rusty weapon. Stand aside or fight. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Mind your envy. All in a day's work. I'm at the point as well where I might not be wanting to have on the HP SP plus 30% end of battle thing. Because I can definitely put better boss type stuff in there. So I'm going to have to think about what to replace that with, really. The pier's over here, right? Time for an octopus. But I haven't got more rare monsters on anymore, do I? Time to divvy up the earnings. I see that it's not just based off damage, but proportion of health of our enemy as well. Okay, save point at the start, or save point at the end. I think we might find it. What do you reckon? Uh, should we go left first or right to get that trash area? Let's have ourselves a show now. Wow, uh, two dungeons to cross off this as well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do that. <laughs> but in a sense, they're not normal Here dungeons. <laughs> Anything I can do to do anything to you? Apart from my gift stings. Obis Regalia! <laughs> Obis Regalia. It's my turn now. Uh, oh my! So that's it. Here I Right, because I think you're probably going to take one out. I'm going to attack that guy once. Oh, he didn't kill him. Here we go. And then I was thinking about using our new skill here. Random foes at least three times. The more foes there are, the more attacks you will unleash. Okay, cool. I was like, that was, uh, that was not very good. That, one, that one's not very good. I mean, maybe I'm ranking it too harshly. But it's not as damage dealing as some of the others. It might be good for a break, though. It does free dagger strikes. I think I've missed the start. Ah! Ah! Says Octopuff King. Bye. Well, uh, that sucks. Oh my! So that's it. Right. Can't win them all, right? Huh? Warlord Spear. Here I come. Oh, I thought we caught it. How's this? Who's next? There's no need for flattery. It'll yeah. rust my sword. I like Twin Serpents more than them at the moment. 
Where the hell is this taking me? Alright, well... There's three chests at the end of this place. <laughs> kind of having trouble docking. Here goes. Mind your envy. I owe you one. Time to shine. Yeah. Oh my. You fight dirt. My prey away. You're not allowed to confuse my friends. <laughs> Dive here to see a duck a duck a kick. It's a staff type move. Ah! I turn it into <laughs> grilled chicken. Okay, is there a way to the right next to that torch? Well, there's no enemies. The ruinous relic. There's another ruinous relic. Deals massive damage to all foes. Oh, oh okay. There's another ruinous relic. Passageway through. Uh, I just changed time because I thought maybe the tide would change. How do we get to this treasure chest? Bring it on. <laughs> My turn. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. I feel like a car has been left in the dust a little bit by Oshet. <laughs> ah, how I get onto that is going to be a thing. I mean, maybe from here after all. Howdy there, man. Alligators. Here goes. <laughs> Mind your envy. The bugs are totally one shot, so I go with axes again. Oh my! Sorry. My prey away. And with that as well. Lionheart ass. Oh my. Ah. <laughs> On the hunt, indeed. Yeah. Okay. This gets round to this treasure chest. We're a raging beast inside. Not even that good for a level 48 dungeon. I shall be your opponent. What's that about? Bring it on. I feel like I've been entirely shortchanged. Many thanks. My turn. I still have much to learn. Oh, I just got the limb from limb means four text because there's four limbs, right? Naturally occurring, I guess. Oh god, it didn't mean five. <laughs> the hunt is on. Or even more. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Mind your envy. I owe. Dungeon is slowing me down. I'm just getting warmed up. We were on our way quite Mind nicely, I feel. The Lord of the Flies. I owe you. Prepare yourself. Allow me. For the pride of Ku. Nice damage. Right, so there's a treasure chest over there. It is reachable from the water. No, it's not. It's reachable from here. Hey, the what does this place even have in it? 
Probably not the ever rusty weapon now that we're up. really looking at things. Envy. I do not think that this is the way. Caught one. So this guy is Demon Jellyfish. Evil Eye of Night All. I just don't know. I'll turn you into some island skewers. <laughs> Hopefully you prepared it properly. We trust in our chat, yeah? Olive of Life Large. I think that's this cave. So unfortunately, we didn't come up with another. I'm just getting warmed up. Rusty weapon <laughs> to obtain, which is kind of sad. Envy. Now it begins. I would have liked to have finished the saga, Next. but we did manage to check out two dungeons There's in the no last half flat. hour. It'll rust my The soul. last episode. Of course, there still might be more chests, and I might have just uh, not gone to everywhere yet. There's a chest here. JP Augmenter. Where have you been all our lives? I don't need you. That would have been great early game. This late, however, is pretty useless. Here I come. Wow, now that's a big golem boy. Here goes. And it gets to go fairly fast against me. A light revenant. Time to shine. Oh my. I was kind of hoping that would take out the ever dude. I could go to Arms Master, but I'm thinking of uh, using another Miracle strong attack to take the light heaven and out. I thought my golf club hit would be. Oh, it's caught it. It's a solar ray clock. Now it begins. How's this? Yeah, that's a little better. There's no need for flatters. Just wondering how the damage is affected by us boosting. Anything great bunch. Is that the last thing I can grab from this dungeon? Indeed, it looks like it is. So, unless I missed it somewhere in the water, the Cavern of Waves basically had nothing in it. Maybe it's for something else entirely. You never know when you've got a dungeon with absolutely nothing going on. The Sinking Ruins might have been a better place to check out. Danger level 46, to be completely fair. That, uh, that might have been the play. But we went for the level 48 one. Like the level 48 one we did over here. Got unlucky. So we're looking for one more rusty weapon still. And it's the rusty bow. To top it all off in terms of annoyance when you think about it. Because, of course, that's a Ched as a hunter. We wonder what the bow would actually supply for power. But with crossed paths appearing all around the place, our last crossed path to get, we will check out our crossed paths when we have finished our final chapter. New Delsta awaits us for Frone's end fight with Temenos by her side once again. For their cross path to be unlocked. But uh, we are starting to run a little bit out of dungeons to do. I didn't expect to be doing extra dungeons today. I wanted to uh, get as many chapters done as humanly possible. We did. Granted. And we unlocked a lot of stuff as well. And this week, it was, what was it two extra jobs. The full inventor job kit. Quests are plenty and more. And to be honest, there's probably even more stuff everywhere if I were to look around. So I've basically got to look around anywhere that we had in the past. And I will do this between sessions. For characters that are story important because they seem to get 
quests like this. <laughs> they do indeed get quests. Is this the butler? Oh, Alron himself. It is the butler with the quest looking at Alron's gear. So we will continue on with Octopath Traveler 2 next time. With Frone's story soon to come, I will scout these quests out there at appearing because we've done our missions here, there, and everywhere. Of course, that means that uh, I won't be able to find Frone's one as easily. And hopefully, we will obtain not only a rusty weapon next time, but a full grasp of what our endgame story is. Though, to be honest, our Chet, Oswald, Temenos, the ones we've done this week, they're clued in. They know there's something else to find, something else to fight, something else to hunt. Everything was shadow themed after all. So I'll see you next time for more as we continue our lovely journey in the world of Solistia. See you guys then. Bye bye.